And our next topic here on Sports Medicine Weekly, I want to bring up the, the fact of, uh, or ask you the question, Dr. Cole, in your office, uh, do you see a lot of people with disabilities? You know, whether it's uh, learning disabilities or physical disabilities, I don't. You know, so my practice, as you know, is uh, consists largely of people who, who are active or cannot be active because of, you know, some physical impairment. But what's interesting that you bring it up, I don't, I can't recall a large number of young people who have disabilities of any kind that come in with new injury. And I, and I suspect it has something to do with the opportunities that are available to them. Um, I just think there probably are a few opportunities that represents a different, you know, a cross segment because otherwise it'd be on my radar. And I, and I really don't have a significant population of young people who have, a dis, have disabilities and then subsequently get injured in sport. And it might be what they're able to do as well, depending on the level of disability. Well, we found a nonprofit in Chicago called Keen Chicago that provides various sports activities for physically and or developmentally disabled youth. And let's bring on the program director of Keen Chicago, Laura Fillenworth. Uh, Laura, how are you this morning? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. So what is Keen Chicago and uh, what kind of activities do you guys provide? Yeah, so Keen Chicago is a mostly volunteer-led program that provides free recreational and sports programming to kids and young adults with disabilities aged 5 through 21. We've been here in Chicago for 15 years, and there's seven affiliates across the United States with the headquarters in D.C. Um, during our program, we pair athletes uh, with disabilities one-to-one with a a volunteer. So that way we're able to support individuals with more severe disabilities um, in our program. And we have a number of programs, uh, sports and swimming, uh, trampoline and dance, as well as we've been branching out recently into special special events like um, kickball and yoga. You know, I remember a couple of years ago, I think, uh, me and my middle son, uh, he and I went there to volunteer. So you guys also have a volunteer platform. He had to do some uh, school, you know, service work, and I went with him over the weekend. It was it was a great time. Um, so I think maybe make mention of that because my guess is you only have so much help, and you guys might depend on some of these volunteers. And young people love to do that, and it's very gratifying for them as well. Absolutely. There is a high need for volunteers in our program. Um, We actually, at King Chicago, we only have one staff member, and we serve 140 athletes throughout our program. So um, there's, we definitely use a lot of volunteers. We have programming almost every weekend. Our volunteers are matched one-to-one with the athletes during the program. And uh, there's an application at www keenchicago.org where volunteers um, can, can apply to join us um, and groups of volunteers can contact me directly and I can coordinate that as well. So what's the source of most of the funding for Keen in Chicago? The funding is mostly sponsorships, corporate sponsorships and individual donors. We have a large fundraiser in the fall this year it will be october 18th at the american writers museum it's called keen fest um and yes we're also always looking for um donations there's a donation link on our website as well and um if anyone's interested in a, in a corporate sponsorship there's opportunities for that as well our guest is Laura Fillenworth from Keene, Chicago. She's the program director, and Keene, Chicago is a nonprofit that provides various sports activities for physically and or developmentally disabled youth. Reading on your website, Laura, that uh, it's for youth ages 5 to 21. And I want to ask you, though, what kind of type of feedback have you had from families and participants about the program? For most of our families, uh, this is the main access to a recreational program that that they have. Um, some of that is because our, our program is free. Some of that is because, you know, we use a one-to-one model which accommodates um, more athletes with more severe disabilities. Um, we also hear from parents that it has, we have a strong community that they can network and support one another. And their kids have the opportunity to to build friendships. I actually recently had one of our parents 
come up and tell me after a session her nine-year-old with cerebral palsy was um, playing with another kid, playing catch with another kid during the session. And she told me it was actually the first time she saw him play with a friend. So um, mm. just having the ability to engage with peers is also really important. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, 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 you know, it's, it's easy to give you guys a shout out. I can, you know, having gone through it uh, as a volunteer and seeing what you do, um, it's it's an awesome resource for uh, people who normally wouldn't have access to this type of thing. So I would really encourage, if you're interested in volunteering at Keen or obviously uh, to support uh, financially, as they can, I'm sure they can always use it. Uh, just given the given the staffing to uh, participant ratio, I'm sure you could use it. So thanks for coming <laughs> on our show this morning. And again, the website Keen K E E N Chicago dot org. Laura Fillenworth. Our guest, the program director. Wish you the best, Laura. Great program and uh, uh, all the success in the future. Thank you. When we return on Sports Medicine Weekly, it's our staple of the show. It's our Ask the Doctor segment. We've got some great questions for Dr. Cole coming from you, our listeners, through our website, sportsmedicineweekly.com. So stay with us. You're listening to Sports Medicine Weekly, only on 670 The Score.